and your house was just nasty. Dishes all in the living room, all in the kitchen, all on the floor. You got all kind of stuff all over the place. Hey everybody, it's your girl. Hey guys, hello. It's been a minute, right? Um, just passing through really quickly. What's today? Today's Thursday, the 1st of March. Yes, it is. And you know something? Many of you may be asking yourself, like, why didn't Nothing's Impossible 77 do a Black History Month, you know, video? And I'm going to share with you guys why. Because I recently decided that I don't need anybody to give me a month to celebrate, to celebrate, to celebrate? <laughs> I don't need anyone to give me a month to celebrate black history. I mean, okay, yeah, we do appreciate the acknowledgement of it. You know, I, you know, I'm not, you know, I mean, a lot of people are like, yeah, but they gave us the shortest month of the year. Ah, I don't get into all of that. Look, I celebrate and enjoy the wonderful inventions, creations, and things that um, African American great people great folks have done over the years and i don't need anybody to give me a month to highlight it you know and so what i do the other 11 months you know just kick it to the curb i mean i'm not being negative you understand i'm just like okay i've looked at the videos i've enjoyed many of them and that's what i have to say about black history man. how you doing now um i passed by today because i had a, a recent situation where I had to deal with someone in a business establishment that was so nasty, rude, for no reason. You know them kind of people that's just rude, and even when you smiling, and you, you know, it, when, when people get really, really, really rude, it's like, gets uncomfortable, right? It gets uncomfortable, and so, for that moment, you, you might say something like, huh, huh. you might make a little corny joke and be like, yeah, <laughs> And they looking at you like, hmm? you know, and it came to me, you know, I have a new outlook on looking at folks that have a nasty disposition and a nasty character. I look at it like this. I would look at it like this. Like if I came to your house and your house was just nasty, dishes all in the living room, all in the kitchen, all on the floor. You got all kind of stuff all over the place. Yeah. Oh, man. Your house stink. And let me tell you something. I hope there's nobody that's watching my video that is in that situation right now. Because I'm telling you, you need to get that together. Because there's no way you can get your mind right and your house ain't right. It's all a part of the process. But I look at it like people who's just nasty. And so I don't care. How am I going to come to your house and everything is just nasty, smelly, stinky. You ain't washed no dishes. Everything is on the floor. I got to kick over your clothes just to get to the door. And then I go to the bathroom and the toilet ain't even flushed. I'm keeping it real. Why would I envy you? I'm not going to envy you. I'm going to want to get the hell out of your house. That's what I'm going to want to do. And that's how I feel about nasty people. When you run across a person that has a dirty, nasty, dirty attitude. And okay, granted, everybody has a bad day here or there. It happens. And some people just need to stay home when they know they wake up and they woke up on the wrong side of the bed. They just need to stay home. Don't leave your house and, 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 and spew all your ugliness all over the place. Sometimes that's really a red flag that you need to stay home. Sometimes you wake up in the morning and say, I really don't think I should go to work today. Because I'm not, I don't think I should go to school today. Today's mm -mm, something's wrong with my spirit today. So look at it that way, guys. People who are nasty and rude and just not courteous for just no apparent reason, especially when they're in a business where they should be showing customer service and customer courtesy. Just look at them like having a nasty house. And so what you're going to want to do, get the heck away from them and get out their face. Just like you want to run out that house that you go in and it's nasty and smelly. Now, I'm not disrespecting anybody who has a nasty, smelly house, but I'm real. And I'm telling you, if your house is dirty and your house is nasty, stop putting it together. Little by little, take one room at a time. You'd be surprised how free and how much more peaceful you feel when you get rid of all the clutter in your life. Clutter could be emotional clutter, 
and physical clutter. All right, guys, that's all I have to say today. Peace and love. Love you guys. Have a great day. Peace and love. Later.